Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to be attempting something that uh, we've attempted in the past but sadly did not succeed at doing, but I think we've got a much better chance at doing it this time around. Essentially what we are going to do is attempt to get ourselves a Great One Fallow Deer before early access is over. And then when we do get it to spawn, or I should say if we get it to spawn, we will be using the brand new rifle to take it down or the brand new bow and throughout this grind, I am going to attempt to use this brand new 44 Magnum lever action as often as I possibly can. Unfortunately, as you just saw with that last shot, it's not going to be possible for every single zone that I go to if I'm trying to actually efficiently take these down in a uh, quick enough manner to be able to get a great one before the, uh, before the update drops to everybody. It's currently October 5th, 2023 at 2.41 p.m. as we start this grind out. We're going to attempt to get it before the 10th when this update releases to everybody. And every single time I get a notable trophy throughout the grind, I will try to say the timestamp so that you guys can kind of get an idea of uh, when we get everything throughout this journey. And I'm also going to try and mention the kill counts every time we hit some kind of milestone or every time we end up getting a cool trophy so that you guys can follow along with exactly how this grind is going to go over the course of the next five days. If you have not already, consider watching the last video that I put out as it did cover the brand new DLC in its entirety and uh, I gave my full opinions on what I think of all of the new items and, well, it surprised me in many, many ways and I would go as far as saying that I was quite wrong with my initial opinion before I got to actually play with it and what I mean by that is the opinion after seeing the EW stream I ended up having a very different opinion once we started playing with everything. And also, since we just saw it, you guys can kind of see why we're not going to use just the brand new rifle for this grind. That was a running shot and it was very hard to lead it properly to hit him on the run. I could easily have took him down with a 300, but it's a different story when using the 44 Magnum uh, lever action rifle. So we're going to use the 44 whenever we get a uh, chance to take one down in a somewhat reliable fashion. But if it's going to be a situation where we need to kill like three deer before they run, we might have to use the 300. But in a situation like this, this is a perfect candidate for the 44. Provided Scarecrow remembers how to aim. Yeah, that, that would probably help if I could aim. So before we uh, start fast forwarding through all of the boring parts of this grind since this is going to be a five day process video let's talk about something real quickly first of all we are doing herd management with this grind so we're not going to show every single diamond we get as diamonds are going to be popping up at a very increased rate because of herd management as always if you guys want to know how to do it check out the playlist i have a herd management playlist that has all of my guides in it that teach you how to do it and the other thing I was going to mention is you're not going to be seeing all of the just random level fours that I shoot from now on because there would be a crap load of footage if I were to do that and this video would be literally hours upon hours long. So with that being said, this right here is the last thing that you guys will see me claim until we end up showing off all of the notable trophies from the next five days and attempt to remember to mention all the timestamps and dates that I got them which is going to be rough because I'm going to be streaming some of it and I'm probably going to forget but you know what if I forget we'll put it up on the screen So at the time of this guy showing up, we are currently at 143 kills in total on this grind uh, since the beginning of the video, and it is now 11.56 a.m. on October 6th of 2023, so it is the next day compared to when we did the intro, and this is our first rare of the grind. Very soon I will be jumping on a live stream and streaming a bunch of the grind. So hopefully we'll get a bunch more trophies, but for now we got this guy and then I think I put one of the diamonds before this. It was late, so I didn't have a chance to do commentary over it, but I'll try to remember to put it in the video as well. But let's get this guy down. 
absolutely demolished that poor little piebald. This gun is so much fun. Like I said, the only downside to it really is the distance. The range that it has is not nearly as good as a lot of other rifles, so if you're doing grinds and you're going to be taking a lot of shots from far away, probably not going to be the best rifle to use, but I can totally see this being something that I will use a lot just because it's really fun. And it's also one of those things that will probably work really well in multiplayer where you don't necessarily need super fast follow-up shots most of the time. But there we have it. A beautiful little piebald taken out with a double lung shot. What a nice looking little fallow deer. So that just might be the most insane looking level 5 fallow I have ever seen. Look at how wide he is. With a minimum estimate of 266 as well. I don't think that this is the big rack either. I think this is the mid rack. But is it possible that because it's so wide, this could be a 270 plus mid rack? I feel like there's a small chance of that actually being possible. We're going to be extra careful with this. We want to get close to him with the 44. If we can get a nice shot in there. Honestly, that should be perfect right there. And down he goes. That is crazy. Yeah, that is mid-rack. That is mid-rack, and it's so wide. That is just crazy looking. What are you going to score? 268, 54 for this rack? No way. That is insane. And also, before I forget, uh, it is October 6th at 12.10 uh, p.m., so not that long after we got the piebald, we ended up getting this thing. And my gosh, this is the most unique level 5 fallow I think I've ever killed. Oh, that 5 was so big that for a second I thought it was a great one. We could try it now. We could try the Texas hard shot now. We could try it now. So as of spotting this deer right here, it is uh, 3.56 p.m. on October 6th of 2023. It has been a few hours since the last trophy that will have been in this video, and we're about to attempt a Texas heart shot with the brand new rifle and see if it can do it. It's probably going to go terribly, but hopefully it'll make it. I'm currently live streaming as well, which is why you hear different music than the rest of the video has. It, this guy's really taking his time. <laughs> He's really taking his, really taking his time, man. I might just have to do it. <laughs> That's actually insane. Oh my gosh. What did I just watch? Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. This gun is insane. That fallow just got crumpled. And it's vitals through the butt. <laughs> oh, man. That might have been a Texas hard shot. Yeah, we could have just hit the lung, but... Please tell me we got the heart. 265? We missed the heart. No, we got to aim a little lower. See, this is why I didn't want him to be drinking when I took this shot. I mean, we were so close to getting a Texas hard shot. Man. That was crazy. I'm happy with that. That was a crazy, crazy shot. Dude, this 44 lever is so good. Like, it is so, so good for taking down diamonds and rares and stuff. Hey, there we go. We got ourselves a piebald. So, that's not a massive level four, but it is a level four. It is currently 11.47 a.m. on October 7th. So this is the very next day from the last trophy. And this is the next notable thing that we have seen. Let's see if we can get their attention. I don't know if we're going to land close enough. Yeah, it looked like we did. Now let's see if we can just... And he's dead. Let's go. Another piebald. I was really hoping for a Mela or an Albino, but I'll take a piebald as well. That's still really sick. Also, before I forget to mention, we're currently at 540 kills on the grind. 
So we're getting into the realm of where I've got a lot of my Great One Fallow in the past, but it's definitely not a guarantee that it's going to come anytime soon. We had one Fallow grind take like 2,100 kills. We had another take like 1,700. So we could be a long ways off still, but I got a feeling it's going to be soon based on my previous luck with Great One Fallow. And this guy right here is actually only our second rare out of these 540 kills. I feel like rares are about a 1 in 300 chance. It definitely seems that way. I think it is time that we take a quick break in the trophies and talk about this next one because it was the most shocking and incredible thing that we have got throughout this entire grind. Though we have not managed to get ourselves a great one on this grind, we got something a whole lot better. And the situation was actually quite hilarious. On the previous run before this thing showed up, I ended up spotting a chocolate fallow deer which isn't anything too crazy but a viewer of mine pointed out that it looked melanistic at first to them and i was like well this is kind of like the differences between them as i can tell that's funny that you thought that it was a mela and then literally the very next spot that we went to had this nice opg that's awesome man that is awesome i bet you're gonna have a uh, very exciting and fun time seeing him Yeah, they, they kind of do trick you sometimes, like... They do kind of give off that melanistic look, even though they're the, uh... Even though they're the chocolate fur type. Wait. Ah! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! I cannot think of a single time that I have hesitated this much when looking at a super rare. I did not quite know what I was looking at at first. And part of that was because of the conversation I had just had about how chocolate fallow deer and melanistic fallow deer have a lot of similarities, but there are ways to tell them apart. I took a moment to kind of look at it twice and upon second look I realized that was not a chocolate fallow deer. But on first glance, I really thought that it was, so I didn't have a reaction as quick as I usually would. And obviously, I have to make it clear that this is not as rare as if you just randomly stumble across a super rare, like in multiplayer, or if you're doing a shoot everything grind, because we are using a grinding method called herd management. And herd management increases the amount of diamonds you get substantially if you do it correctly, just by shooting specific animals and leaving others alive. I've got guys on the channel, I have to mention this because there may be new players watching that don't understand what herd management is, and, and obviously I don't want those new players to be confused wondering why they're not seeing the same amount of diamonds. I am using a method that gives more diamonds than if you were just hunting everything that you saw. 
And though it is a uh, method that is completely backed by the developers and is perfectly fine to do, there's definitely going to be some people that may not understand what it is. So I try to make it clear that this is not going to be as rare as if you're just shooting everything and find yourself a super rare randomly. Because as of now, we get a diamond every 17 kills, which means the chances of one of those diamonds being a rare is much, much higher. But the thing is, even with us having a really high chance of getting them, it still is not a low number for the average, uh, the average kills between super rares that you should be expecting. The average uh, spawn rate of it should still be about 1 in 5,000. 100 so it's by no means an easy thing to get it's just a lot easier than what it would be if you're not doing herd management let's go ahead and take a shot on this guy that is a really really nice looking fallow deer and we'll take out that one as well and i think on that note let's go ahead and cut back to the clip of this insane diamond melanistic super rare fallow deer we didn't get a great one during this grind like we were hoping to but we at least got to take out a super rare with the brand new rifle before this update fully dropped. I will uh, read off the date in the clip, of course, when we ended up getting him, because right now I'm recording this like a day after we killed it. Who spoke that into existence? Who spoke that into existence? Uh, was that you, Dynamic, that just said that the last chocolate looked Mela? <laughs> Holy crap, that's a Mela super rare. We've got all of them now. We got all of them. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Second run of the day as well. Holy! Okay, for the video that this will go into, it's currently 3.51 p.m. Uh, October 8th, 2023. One day after the last trophies that will be in this video. Holy crap. And freaking dynamic literally at the last zone was like, huh, I thought that was a Mela for a second. But it was a chocolate. And so because he said that, when we get to this one, I'm second guessing this. I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, that's a chocolate level five. No, that's a Mela level five. Jeez. I may not have that great one bear luck like Ibai does, but I sure have the super rare fallow luck. Provi oh, he's turning. No, 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 no. Because the other spooked off, he moved. Ugh. I see what's happening. Because we spooked off a doe there, now he's leaving. Quick, stop him. Okay, we got him to go attentive. We got him to go attentive, so we should be good. Make our dog lay down so we don't accidentally get invalid target. Okay, go back to your zone. Come on. Thank you. Man, the pictures kind of suck here. Although that looks nice. It doesn't really show you that he's mellow, but that looks cool at least. I could totally use that for a thumbnail, man. That looks really nice. <laughs> there we go. He gave us a good shot. We didn't get the Texas hard shot like I was wanting to try, but I don't think we were going to get a good angle with that wind. That's good enough for me. Man, look at him. What a beast. There's no blood track. Uh, that's a little strange. We're just gonna hope it's vitals. It's vitals, holy crap. There he is, 262 super rare Mela Fallow Deer. Holy crap, dude, I can't believe I have a huddle of all different types of super rares. I have every fur for the Fallow as a super rare now. Let's go, guys. Oh my gosh. And with that incredible trophy right here, we have finally done it. We have finally completed a full huddle of super rare fallow deer. One of every kind. We've got our piebald, mela, and albino all in one mount. All three of them being a different rack as well. We got the small rack albino, the medium rack melanistic, and the big rack piebald. This is a dream mount that two years ago I never thought would be even possible in the slightest. But now with HM becoming a pretty widely used thing throughout the grinding community as well as a lot of people refining it to make it more insane and more insane every single day along with my grinding ethic just ramping up to 10 considering I used to barely grind it all aside from like two hours on stream and now I'm doing it pretty much every single day for multiple hours 
it is just really improved the amount of insane things that we've been able to achieve that I never thought were possible until recently. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, as well as uh, leaving a like and also hitting that subscribe button if you're brand new. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.